Asian civilization first developed in the Indus River Valley in present-day Pakistan around 8,000 to 5,000 BCE, but the earliest data indicates that it was well established in 2500 BCE. In fact, the civilization of the Indus Valley, usually called Harappan, after its chief city, rivals Summer and Egypt as humanity's oldest. It was rediscovered in the early 1920s and is known for its hydraulic engineering. The Indus River Valley civilization had cities that were equipped with complex water and sewage systems. The waste traveled from the flushing toilets into one of many sewage pipes that carried out the waste into a river or sea. If the waste did not go into a pipe, then it went into a cesspool. Corbelled drains were the main source of collecting sewage and rainwater. They may have also been used to drain large baths that the people used for ritual bathing. Latrines were communal areas that contained one or more toilets. There were two types of toilet latrines, the pit toilets and flush toilets. Pit toilets were easier to build because the people just had to make a hole in the ground whereas flush toilets were similar to the modern ones that we have today. An architect's view of Lotho shows the pipes as they led out of the city and into the forest. The pictures of Lotho also show how some pipes brought water into the city for freshwater use. Private baths were common in the cities of Lotho, Harappa, and Mohino Daro as many of them were excavated during archaeological digs. Wells were a major source for clean, fresh water, and they also provided a place for people to wash their clothes. Sanitary sewers were underground pathways for waste to travel through. The main sewer was connected to all of the north to south and east to west sewers as it ran through the city. At the end of the main sewer was a wooden screen that kept back the sours, but allowed the liquids to continue through into a cesspool. From there, the waste was taken from the cesspool and into the river estuary. They were also used for taking used dirty water out of the city. These sewers and water drains still make archaeologists wonder how they were able to accomplish this over 4,000 years ago, and how they were able to contract, construct them to work so efficiently.